Namaskar, Namaste, Satnam. Welcome to this new day, this new day of life. Welcome to the breath, the prana which breathes life through all things. Inviting life and light, life force through every inhale with your intentional awareness. Seeing light rising from the base of the body, up the spine, up and out the top of the head with every breath. And with every breath, this, this light unites with the light of the sky, of the stars and the sun, of the celestial brothers and sisters of light, which watch over us, surround us in protection and healing, divinity and openness. Every breath unites this light of earthly realm to the light of the spirit realm. Centering yoga or oneness in the heart center of every sentient individual. And this resonant field of oneness unites every breath, every pulse of life through every individual. With all layers, aspects, and dimensions of life itself. We are one with the earth. We are one with the sky. We are one with our highest and brightest selves. We are one with the highest and brightest light. When we take this moment to sit and connect, allowing ourselves to become greater than the vessel, to connect to the higher realms of consciousness and the energies of divinity. We start to purify the field. And through this purification, we start to amplify our power to manifest miracles. <sighs> To begin with connection and gratitude opens us up to greater and infinite possibilities. So consider some miracles of your life at this time. Some of your manifestations that are coming to fruition. Some of your manifestations that are coming closer beginning to step into place, into their way, into showing you your power as a co-creator. As every breath brings light and life force, it also brings will, kinetic energy, potential karma. I am grateful for this day. We will now go through some affirmations on gratitude. You can repeat after me if you wish, or you can allow the vibration to simply move through your body. I am grateful for this day. I am grateful for this day. I am grateful for this body. I am grateful for this body.
I am grateful for every cell of this body. I am grateful for every cell of this body. I am grateful for the soul contained within this body. I am grateful for the soul contained within this body. I am grateful for the soul contained within this body. I am grateful for soul connection. I am grateful for soul connection. I am grateful for this experience of life. I am grateful for this experience of life. I am grateful for the shelter which surrounds me. I am grateful for the shelter which surrounds me. I am grateful for the earth through which I softly walk. I am grateful for the earth through which I softly walk. I am grateful for the earth through which I softly walk. I am grateful for Mother Earth, Mother Gaia, Pachamama. I am grateful for Mother Earth, Mother Gaia, Pachamama. I am grateful for this breath of life and light. I am grateful for this breath of life and light. I am grateful for this breath of life and light. I am gratitude in all that I am. I am gratitude in all that I am. I am gratitude in all that I am. My true nature is divine, loving, perfect abundance. My true nature is divine, loving, perfect abundance. My divine nature is divine, loving, perfect abundance. My true nature is abundant, loving, divine perfection. My true nature is abundant, loving, divine perfection. My true nature is abundant, loving, divine perfection. I am love, we are love. I am love, we are love. I am love, we are love. Bring the hands in front of the heart with your next inhale, uniting the thumbs and the pinkies, spreading the other fingers out to open to the light in the form of Padma Mudra. And breathe, envisioning a lotus flower growing out from the base of your soul, from the solar plexus, the bottom of the solar plexus, in the belly, just above the belly button. This lotus lily pad and lotus flower rising up 
Seeing this ocean of consciousness in the core with the warmth of the fires of the sun churning and rolling light through the body, through the whole body, purifying all channels of the body. And watching this lotus flower grow up and out your heart center into your hands and you hold it in this lotus mudra. And this represents your divine perfection. Hare Om Mani Padme Hum. 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 Deep inhale. Exhale, plant the hands face down on the knees. And we'll just do a little bit of Kriya to integrate these vibrations into the body, starting with spinal flexes to clear shoulder tension, open the head and neck. So inhaling to the sky. Exhaling, sending the back of the heart to the back of your room. Inhaling, opening head, chest, throat to the sky. And exhaling, sending the curve of the spine back, opening the back of the heart. And as you breathe through these spinal flexes, that lotus flower continues to grow up and out to float above the crown chakra, inviting light through every cell, golden energy through every cell. Sometimes simple tuning in and simple Kriya are all that we need to clear tension and to optimize the body, to really activate our sadhana and our yoga practice for the day. It doesn't always have to be complicated or challenging. Sometimes it just has to be intuitive and allowing, calling in of the vibrations that we require for our day to flow with sukha, grace, and ease. Effortless flow. And then coming into center with a straight spine and then rolling some Sufi grinds and letting the neck sort of move along a circle with the spine, maybe making some infinity loops with your body, going one direction and then the other to balance the body. And let the upper body feel fluid and loose as tension is dissolved from all muscular channels, thus allowing the flow of energy to move more efficiently through the nadis. And when you feel to come into stillness, just listening to your body and slowing down the movement. And once you reach center again, coming into a straight spine, you can look left with an inhale and an exhale, looking over the left shoulder. And then with your next inhale, switching to the right. 
taking a full breath there. And with your next inhale, coming back to center and looking slightly up. And a full breath there. And with your next inhale, looking down. And then taking a full breath, looking down. Inhale the head back up to neutral, chin parallel to the floor. Big sigh. Inhale the shoulders up to the ears and drop them down with a bit of force. And just bringing the arms up, palms come together, lean back slightly, looking up to the ceiling. Exhale, pressing the hands out to a T and envisioning all this golden light with the palms spread strong, like two golden light beams coming out of the palms and then surrounding the whole body in a circle of light. Deep inhale, exhale, drawing the fingers down to the ground, fingertips to the earth, and feel as white light, gold light, and silver light pour down over top of you, swirling through the crown chakra, swirling around the forehead and third eye and temples through the eyes spirals of gold light, removing any tension or stuckness in the jaw and sinuses, moving this gold light down through the throat chakra, through the shoulders, the heart, opening and clearing the channels of love, self-love and sharing love, opening and clearing all channels of expression and receptivity to truth and of truth opening and clearing the channel of reception to the divine source of all that is as this energy of gold pranic light surrounds the upper body moving down now through the rib cage through the solar plexus igniting the inner fire confidence and trust guide your way today And this golden light purifies the digestive system, clears the creative center and grounds us into balance. Golden light of Father Sky, of the Supreme Soul of Prana, grounding down through you as a bridge of divinity into the core of the earth, infusing Mother Earth with new life and life force, new light and love, in order to continue her work of assisting humanity in evolving to our divine nature of infinite loving, compassionate awareness. And as you connect to the ground beneath you and you let this gold light spiral down through you, ask yourself, what is my intention for my day? What vibration am I bringing to the world today? What manifestations am I creating today? What is my intention for the day? What vibration am I bringing to the world today? What manifestations am I creating today? Just breathe with that and send some energy and focus to your intentions for your day, to your vibrational state. And just ground that in for the light of your day today.
with your next inhale, I invite you to draw your palms face up to the heart center, imagining light in the palms and then bring the hands over the heart, coming into Garuda Mudra or Moksha Mudra, the thumbs cross each other, fingers spread, creating an eagle or a dove with the hands. And just breathing here. Seeing yourself rise into freedom. We are free. We are free. We are free. I am free. I am free. I am free. Sat Chitananda Mokshaye Namo Stutam. Sat Chitananda Mokshaye Namo Stutam. Sat Chitananda Mokshaye Namo Stutam. Hare 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 Nam. Hare 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 Nam. Hare 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 Nam. Hare 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 Ram Jai Shri Rama Krishna Mokshanchaye Purushottayam Bhagavatam Jai Shri Mahadeva Shiva Mokshanchaye Sharanayo Jai Shri Kalima Mokshanchaye Sharanayo And bringing the palms into Anjani, Anjali Mudra, Prayer Mudra. <clears throat> Just bowing the head slightly, feeling your inner light surround you and reflect out into the world. Letting the vibrations of truth and love, compassion and awareness guide your day today. Namaste and Satnam. Blessed be, thank you for joining me for this opening meditation. Enjoy your day, enjoy your week.